Uh, you won the Mercury Prize like two years ago. Right. Uh, did it change um, something in the way you're making your music? I think, no, I think experience changed how I made music. Um, making one album made it easier for me to make the second. Do you know what I mean? Um, I understood how to structure songs better, how to work with musicians. Um, when I started making the first one, I didn't even really know what different keys were or, or chords or things like that, so yeah. Unlike um, a lot of rappers, you're not using samples in your music. Yeah. You're using a real band. Yeah. Uh, why is this choice? I've always liked live instruments. Um, um, one of my favorite albums of all time is Michelle and Digo Cello. It's an album called Bitter. Um, and loads of strings and uh, lots of acoustic guitar. And I've always been in love with that album, which, and that album was a real big inspiration on the speech therapy album. Um, but you know, with this album, I wanted to—I didn't want it to be vulnerable and soft. I wanted it to be have a groove in it and, and, and be more enjoyable. <laughs> Um, a challenge to be a woman in rap business? I don't really know any other thing to be. <laughs> I don't have any experience of being anything else, so I'm not sure. I have nothing to compare it to, do you know what I mean? Um, but it's been okay for me. My, my sex hasn't stopped me from doing anything, or at least in my mind it hasn't anyway. <laughs> No, I didn't lie. Um, I, 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 I certainly didn't tell all of the truth, but I didn't lie. You can't tell all. You can't tell the truth all of the time. Do you know that? You know what I mean, isn't it? Yeah. But I certainly didn't lie. Yeah. Baby, I